How's it going everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright folks, it's Aaron Ryan back with you once again. Alright, so recently Facebook came out with an update so when you are streaming games and afterwards your videos will expire and they're no longer on your page anymore. So I kind of came around a little kind of, um, I don't know, like a fix to this where your streams will actually remain on your gaming page, okay? They will stay there and I'm going to show you how to do this. Alright, so first things first, let me get into my gaming page and I'm going to show you something right here, okay? Now, I'm on my gaming page here. If I click on videos here, as you can see here, all my streams are still here. None of them have expired yet anyway. But um, I started streaming well on my page uh, at the beginning of February this year. So all of my streams are still here. If my internet will load here, it should be quicker, but I don't know what's going on. But uh, we're going to get there. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And as you can see, 16 weeks ago, 17 weeks ago, they're all still there. Okay, keep going down, keep going down. And there we go. Okay, that was the very first stream I did here, which is uh, January 30th. That was a very fun world. Okay, so what do you do then? What do you do to keep your streams on your page? I had someone uh, send in a comment to me under my YouTube video saying that uh, their video got expired. So I'm going to show you here. So first thing you got to do, open your left-hand side corner, go into Creator Studio. Okay, go into Creator Studio. Okay, when you're in Creator Studio, what you got to do is you got to click on Published. Published on the left-hand corner there. Click on Published. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to see all your videos. All your videos are going to be here. Okay. Now, as you see post status or post status, however you pronounce that there, right here it says publish as I publish it. But what you got to do here, click on edit post here. Okay. Click on edit post. Now, this is where it will say expiring and it will give a date here. Okay. So what you got to do is click on where it says expiring. For me, it's going to say publish because I published it. But you're going to click on expired here. It's going to say expiring. So click on that. It's going to be on expired or expiring. You just got to click on published. As soon as you click on published, then click save. And then you should be fine. Okay. Then all your streams will be there. Now, beforehand, what you used to be able to do as well, you used to be able to do it from your gaming page where you can go into your stream from here and click edit post. But that's gone now. You have to go the long route. The route that I just showed you there into Creator Studio. So there you go. Doing this method now will actually keep your streams on your gaming page. So which means they won't expire People will be able to still watch your older streams. They'll just be no longer marked as was live anymore. They'll be just marked as published as if they were uploaded by you. Do you know the way like if you go onto Facebook and you upload a video? It kind of marks it as that. So it's staying as published only and it's not going to be expired. So I hope, I hope this helps you, okay? So I'm not too sure if this is only going to be a temporary kind of thing. I could probably, Facebook could probably change this now down the road where they're going to remove that published thing and the expired thing and where you just won't be able to change it from expired to published. So for the meantime, this is working for me. So my streams are all still there. And if Facebook decides to change that where you can't mark it published anymore, well, there's nothing we can do. I have all my streams downloaded, but there's only one problem here. I have them all downloaded in HD and I think I have about 87 streams so far and that takes up a lot of a lot of hard drive space. I think um, in total, adding all them up together, it's around um, close enough to maybe 200 gigs already. <laughs> already is like 200 gigs. So uh, I don't know. Not unless I kind of find a way where I can um, kind of batch, compress all of them down to kind of like an SD, but I don't want to lose the quality. That's, that's the other thing, you know. 
see i do like watching older streams back as well especially when i played a game before i want to see like how i played it before and not make the same mistakes if i'm going to play the game again you know so uh and it's a nice little reminder too like you know like i'd like to look back at the very first stream i ever had on my gaming page well i was on classic and current gaming last year that is exactly where i started streaming uh the first of february 2020 was super mario kart over on classic and current gaming so and i have them videos downloaded as well i like to go back watch my very first stream again and just see how far i've come you know like you know it's kind of it's an achievement you know like i'm I got so far, you know, I worked so hard to uh, to work on my streams and I'm happy where I got now, you know. But uh, yeah, okay guys, I hope this helps you, okay? Leave a comment in the comment section below, tell us how you're getting on, did you try this trick before or whichever, okay? Let us know how you're getting on and uh, I'll talk to you soon, okay folks? So in the meantime, take care of yourselves, any problems at all, feel free, let me know and uh, I'll do a video update on that as well, okay? So Aaron Ryan signing off and I will talk to you very soon folks. Take care of yourselves, bye-bye.